Okay, so today we're going to be doing this abstract spinning animation in Blender. It's quick and easy to do, so let's get started. Okay, so let's first delete the light here. So X to delete the light and the camera. Then select your cube. Hit tab to go into edit mode. Make sure face selection is selected. Go on inset faces. Then we're just going to make sure the individual is checked and uncheck mark offset even. Then click and drag the circle here inwards slowly like that. Then make sure individual origins is selected. Hit E on your keyboard and we're going to extrude inwards like this. Then we're going to inset the face a little bit again. And then E and then drag outwards like that. Then hit S on your keyboard and scale up a little bit. Then we're going to inset the faces again. So click and drag inwards. E, extrude out. Boom. Okay, hit tab. Then we're going to go on to the modifiers and add a bevel modifier. We're going to make the amount 0 0.018. And we'll make the segments three. And then we'll just apply the modifier. Now let's shade it a bit. So let's go to the material properties. Hit new. Go on to the material preview right here. Make it metallic. Make the base color a little dark. Like that. And we'll decrease the roughness just a little bit. Next, we're going to go into wireframe mode. So let's click this option right here. Then hit tab on your keyboard. Go into this view right here. And then hold shift on your keyboard. And we're going to click and drag the ends of the geometry right here like this. Only selecting this portion of the geometry while holding shift. Oops, like that. Make sure you go get all the sides. So Go into this view. Boom. Boom. Okay. Once everything is selected, you can go back into the material preview. Hit plus right here. Hit new. Then go on to emission. Hit assign. And then you can change the color to whatever you want. I'm going to make it this reddish color right here. Something like that. And you can change the strength to 5. Then go on to your render settings and check mark ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space reflections, and motion blur. Then hit tab on your keyboard to go back to object mode. And now we are done shading our object. So let's go back to solid view. Let's move this above the ground like that. And then we're going to add in a background. So shift A, plane, and we're going to scale this up really big. So S, and let's scale it up a lot. Like that. Hit tab. And then make sure you're on edge select mode, like this. Select the edge here. E, and then Z on your keyboard to extrude up. Then select the edge right here. Go on to bevel, increase the amount, and then increase the segments. Then uh, make sure you tab out of edit mode, apply the modifier, and then right click shade smooth. Now we got our background. Now let's add in a camera. So shift A, camera, go on to the camera, active camera like this. And let's adjust our camera view. Um, let's just make this 90. Make this 0. Make this 180, I believe. Yep. And then just move the camera back like this by moving the Y transformation on the location. Move it up a little bit something like that and we're gonna change the focal length to let's do 30 
Let's just make the background a little wider. So select the background, S, X, and widen it like that. Now we can go to our render preview. So hit the render. Let's go to our world view. Change the color and make it a little darker. Something like that. And let's also add a material to our backdrop. So material properties, just hit new. And we'll make it a little bit metallic like that. And we'll also decrease the roughness just a little bit. Again, not too much. Let's add in a light. So shift A, area light. We'll just move it above our object. Change the power to a thousand watts. And we can change the size for. Now let's animate our object. So let's bring up our timeline right here. And it's gonna start by coming up from the ground. So let's select it. Let's go to our transformation properties. Let's bring it down. Let's right click, insert keyframes. Right click, insert keyframes on the rotation as well. And we'll go eight frames in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll bring it up. And then just hit the keyframe on the Z right here. Boom. And we're also going to have it rotate while it's coming up. So let's just rotate a little bit. Something like this. Then right click, insert keyframe, and boom. And we're also going to have it move a little bit after it's come up. So let's go eight frames in on frame 16. Hit R, R, and we're just going to move it a little bit. I think that's good enough. Then just right click, insert keyframe, and we are also going to animate the camera as well. So go back to frame 8, select your camera, go on to the focal length, right click, insert keyframe, then go back to frame 16, move it to frame 16 right here, and we'll change it to 50 right click and then insert keyframe. Now, it comes up and we got a camera zoom. It's a little laggy for me, but it'll look better once you render it out. Next, we're gonna change the end frame to 120. Select the object, go to frame 100 and let's go 108. And we'll change the rotation to 1800 Y rotation 1800 Z 1800 right click insert keyframe and then we'll go to frame 119 actually 119 and it's gonna fly into the camera so let's move the Y like this and as it's moving towards the camera, it's also I also want it to rotate. So we're just going to mess with the rotation settings. Change this to 14, 10. Change this to 1833. And change that to 1790. Then just right click, insert keyframe. Go back to the Y location. And just keep dragging it until it leaves the frame like that. Right click, insert keyframe, boom. And then one last thing, go to frame 117, go to the camera, right click, insert keyframe, and then go to frame 118, and change the focal length back to 30. And then right click, insert keyframe. And then it'll go back to how it was originally. If it's kind of laggy for you, you can go back to solid view and then preview how it looks. You can preview the animation like this. And it seems like there's a problem here. It seems to be moving too early, so we can fix that. Go select the object again, go to frame 108, go back to the transformation settings of the cube, 
and make sure the Y location is zero. Hit enter and then right click insert keyframe and that'll fix the problem. So now it should be looping pretty seamlessly now. Now for your render settings, go to the shadows and make sure the shadow is around 256. Change this to high bit depth and make sure your render is at 64. Make sure this is at 100%. Uh, go to output, save it where you want to save it. Change this to FFmpeg video. Encoding to MP4. And then just render animation. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a like and subscribe for more future tutorials like this. And if you have any questions or concerns, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.